So we saw how to select the number of present blank we need. Let me quickly explain what you see on the screen. To be assigned a platinum or standard plan, you need to purchase and make payment in this set. But for a free plan, you just post a free ad. So let's start from free ad and see what we got. I want to show this thing here. Okay, this is free ad, so I click on it. For us to be able to click on purchase now and take us to the other page, we need to set up the other page with this WooCommerce. So right now, I'm going to open this WooCommerce in another tab. Okay, here I come to settings. Important thing here is shop page. Okay, so I'm going to change this. Check out the payments that my site is going to accept. I need to set it up here. Now, check out pages. The cart page. I have a cart page already associated with my team. Okay, let me kindly explain these things to you. If you come down to pages and open a new tab, Here we have cards, checkout, terms and conditions. Here we have cards, checkout, then terms and conditions on the next page. Terms and conditions. So it's kind of linking the pages now. So I go back to this place for the card page, which I already have. I want to look for cards somewhere here. This is it. Then the checkout page. I want to link the page as well. Here is checkout. Then terms and conditions. Do the same thing. Then this one's the one that the way there. Here is the payment gateway. Now you will need to enable the payment options you want to use here. If you want to use PayPal on your site, then you have to set your, the PayPal options up. Now, this is what we call cash and delivery. I'm going to activate this and the direct time transfer. Save this first. Then open this place to see what we have there. Actually, this is the most sensitive part of this setup. Now, enable bank transfer. I want to enable this here. This is the description the user sees whenever the user chooses the bank transfer option. So you put a message here which you want the user to see. You can also add some here. Then what you do here, account detail. You add the account name. Account name here. Your account number, for instance. Your bank name. Bank name. Your source code. Name 10 digits account number and um, here your state code. Just make sure you get this information from your bank. If your name is John, put your name here. You can as well add another bank account. You want to add multiple bank accounts, okay? So when you're done with all these state changes, 
Now, if you want to accept check payment, if you want to accept check payment, click on check payment to set it up. It's already enabled here. So this is title. Now description. If someone chooses to pay using check, this essence is this message. So this is enabled already. Now I want to show you what it means. So here we have check payment enabled. When you come back to the checkout options, come down here. Check payment is enabled. Bank transfer is enabled. Paper is also enabled. Now I want to enable cash and delivery. So this is cash and delivery. Click on that and click on enable. Then I put my description, pay with cash upon delivery, and it's a save. So we have just enabled the cash and delivery. To check that, come back to check up checkout options. Remember, this is cash and delivery, we just enable that and come down here. Cash and delivery has been enabled. So this is basically how to enable the payment options you want. Now in case the payment option is not here, you can still install additional payment option using API. So you are not limited to only this. So many options to use with WooCommerce. So we are still on the WooCommerce setup. When you go to account, My account page, you also select or link that page. Here is my account page. And you save that. Then you go to emails. Here, when you have a new order, put in the email address where you want the message to be delivered. When you cancel an order, put in the email where you want the message to be delivered, informing you that you have a cancelled order. And when you have a failed order, put in the email here where you want the message to get to. This will basically do here. Now, these things can just take a look at them and uh, you will know what to do here.